Hi everybody, this is Bob from Buckeye Sports Center. I'm really excited today to talk about a new model from Stingray. It's the 172 SC. Um, it's very, you know, different and interesting to sometimes come out with, you know, a 17 foot boat and actually be really excited and, and you know, kind of go and, you know, normally it's the bigger boats that are the most exciting, but um, really this boat's got a lot to offer and uh, a lot of times there's not a lot of investment made in this kind of entry level product or lower price point product. So um, let me show you some of the things that makes this boat so, so interesting. So the first thing I'm going to start with on this 172 SC from Stingray is the bow area. And you know, the primary thing that I notice when I'm even standing next to the boat is how, how deep it is. You know, a lot of times these little 16, 17 foot boats are pretty shallow. They're obviously designed for inland lakes, but you know, that doesn't mean you don't occasionally come across a boat wake or something like that. So you know, this is a very, very deep boat, you know, much deeper than the prior model year Stingrays um, in, you know, in the 17 or 18 foot range. Um, and also we kind of have that deck boat flared out wide bow. So it's a very, very wide bow. You know, if you get into, to be honest, if you get into 20 foot bow riders, you know, a lot of times that bow seating area is actually smaller than what we have in this 172 SC. So depth of the boat is key. And then obviously overall space utilization is also a big feature of this boat. So as we move to the transom of the 172 SC, um, you know, again, really great design, great space utilization. You do have a, you know, a full rear deck area that you can kind of, you know, kids can walk around and jump off the, you know, either side. You know, there's plenty enough space around the ski tow bar here, you know, to kind of maneuver yourself or use it as a grab handle. Um, the other thing I really like is this ski tow bar. You know, it's it's got that kind of white paint look to it, so it really kind of matches the boat a little bit, makes it look cosmetically a little sharper than the, you know, the galvanized look that a lot of the ski tow bars have. And then you have a nice molded in. Um, you know, stainless steel four-step ladder with a little grab handle here, another stainless steel grab handle here. That's another common theme with Stingrays. You're going to see a lot of hits of, of stainless steel, um, you know, and all the hardware that they use because they are built in uh, South Carolina. So a lot of their boats end up around salt water. So, um, you know, just a lot of heavy-duty components go into building this boat. So as we move inside the 172 SC, um, you know, again, the first thing that I notice as I'm sitting in this boat is just how big and, you know, how big it feels. I mean, this, this truly feels like a, you know, 19 foot boat. Um, you've got, you know, u shot wraparound seating here in the cockpit area, you know, plenty of width, plenty of height and freeboard inside the boat. Um, so in general, just an overall, um, you know, just big, big feeling boat for, the, for this style. Um, you can sit in several different positions. You can put your legs up. Um, you do have storage underneath these compartments. There's actually a cooler built in um, that you can remove under here, which is kind of cool in the middle. Easy access to the cooler. On the port side, you have a nice tub storage. It's actually all finished off, which is kind of nice. It's all kind of made into the mold of the boat, um, as opposed to having it kind of, you know, be kind of raw material down at the bottom. And then this is kind of cool on the port side seat. You kind of have this captain's chair set up, but you can also flip the seat and actually face it the other direction. If you wanted to get a tuber or a skier, you can face backwards and actually have a decent seat with plenty of leg room for the person sitting going this direction. So some versatility in how you can use the seat um, and you know, an overall very usable cockpit. So dash area is obviously super important. That's where the driver is going to be. Um, you know, a small, simple dash, but it has everything you need. Um, the, the seat does have a, a, an adjustable tilt wheel. Um, you, you can put your feet in a couple different spots, and I still, being a little bit taller guy, even if I'm kind of stretching out a little bit, um, I've got you know plenty of leg room in this kind of smaller console area. Uh, throttle control is conveniently located. I can actually kind of set my arm up on the deck gunnel here um, and, and operate the boat that way stereo controls here on the left um, so a simple little dash but you know for pretty much any size person it should uh, you know fit pretty well um, and again you have this nice big open center area to make it easy to walk from the uh, cockpit to the bow and then obviously you've got uh, which is you know good a nice ski locker um, you know matted flooring in there uh, you know to uh, you know pretty deep storage for a ski or a wakeboard um, you know in this boat so we move into the bow, we talked about this a little bit earlier, but to be honest, I mean, I've been in a 20 foot boat that has a smaller bow area than this. So, um, you know, so this is again, pretty, you know, pretty good, you know, design here, uh, you know, with that wider flared out bow. And it's also very tall, very deep. So if you've got kids, um, it's easy for them to get, uh, you know, get in here and feel comfortable. Again, I've got plenty of space to, you know, sit out uh, with my legs out. Um, nice grab handle here on the side. This little center compartment, you know, some people might use that as an anchor storage. 
you actually can use it as a cooler. It does have a drain in it if you wanted to. Um, and you've got all this you know, non-skid, you know, as you're stepping on and off the boat, on the bow, on the gunnels, here in the bow, you've got non-skid all the way over that might be a little hard to see through the camera. Um, the other thing, again, I like about this is you have a kind of a finished off storage compartment um, as opposed to something that's kind of a raw finish that a lot of boats have. So this is kind of built into the mold of the boat, you know, for a little bit cleaner uh, looking and a cleaner fit and finish on the storage compartment. So lastly, we're gonna talk about the performance on this boat. Uh, we've got a Mercury 90 horsepower engine. That's kind of the max of this uh, setup here. Um, and you know, generally you're gonna have you know, good overall performance, you know, even potentially even touching as high as 40 miles an hour, but certainly in the mid to high 30s, depending on how you're you know, weighting the boat. Um, so plenty enough to uh, you know, tow tubes, wakeboards, uh, even uh, light people skiing is gonna be no problem with this setup. So, you know, in summer, I really, really like the, like the boat. It's, it's, a, it's a really cool boat. I'm really excited about everybody who's gonna get to own this boat. Obviously, availability is a concern um, on these new models like this, uh, but, you know, deep, wide feeling boat. It feels really like more like a 19 footer. Um, you know, good overall performance. It's rated for seven people and there's plenty of space to get all those seven people a nice seat. Um, so in summary, thanks for checking out this boat with us here at Buckeye Sports Center. For more information, visit our website to view our inventory, BuckeyeSportsCenter.com. If you like this page or like this video, uh, subscribe to our YouTube page. We post all kinds of different videos from 14 different brands of boats. Um, you know, so we appreciate every, all the feedback we get from our YouTube audience. So thanks again and uh, you guys have a good one on the water.